All right, guys, before we get going here, I need another cup of coffee. Okay, never had enough coffee, guys, I'll tell you what. I get asked all the time what kind of coffee I drink. I used to buy stuff online and have it shipped in, but shipping charges have just gone through the roof, it seems like, this year. Way too expensive. So now I just buy at the grocery store what's ever on sale. I think JFG was on sale last time we was there. JFG, Folgers, something like that. I can't remember the name of it. Whatever's the cheapest. Coffee's coffee to me, I tell you. I was uh, doing some research a while back. I was talking to a buddy of mine who, who was opening up a coffee shop about two hours from here. And he was telling me a lot of these large companies who come out with their own coffee, it's all made by the same place. They just put their name on the labels. So it's not like you're getting something made by them. I thought that was kind of interesting because it seems like everybody's got their own brand of coffee now. Never fails. Always some kind of gimmick or something going on. Mmm, that's good right there. Just right. I like mine with a little bit of milk, and I put some espresso in it. It's really good. All right, guys, that's enough about coffee, I guess. We're down in the timber frame today. As you can see, we're going to get this molder up and running today, guys. I need to put up a few siding boards. I want to go down to the door, and I'll probably call that part done for now. Then we're going to come back in here and start running the dust collection system. And the dust collector's mounted up here. I got to wire it up. I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that because I'm going to do a little custom job where I have, a, have like a little uh, light switch here that I got for it. And it's a 220 light switch actually for a 220. So that's going to be pretty interesting right there. It took me forever to find one of those. Move this out of the way. So what we got to do here is wire it up. Now this dust collector or extractor or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't have an on and off switch. It just has the wire right here. We've got two hot wires and a ground. This is for 220 amps or volts rather, my goodness. 220 volts, not 220 amps. So uh, it takes a little bit of power to get this thing going. I think I'm going to run it to a 20 amp breaker. I think that's what they call for is 20 amps. It may pull eight or 10 amps, not a whole lot. But what we have to do is wire in a switch. I could hardwire this straight to my panel, but then you gotta walk over to the panel and flip the breaker every time you want to run this thing. Well, that's a hassle. Nobody wants to do this. So I guess I should quit talking about this. You get to work.
finish wiring up this switch and then we're gonna run the other end of this wire to the panel and we'll do a test and see if I did it right. We should be in good shape right here. I've never installed a light switch like this. I'm gonna call it a light switch cause that's what it looks like guys, but it's for 220. I've never seen one like this before. So uh, I hope it works. And a little disclaimer here, friends. I actually did, where's my connector? I actually did electrical work back in 1998 for about two and a half years, industrial electrical work when I was in college. So uh, I actually know a little bit about how to do some wiring on stuff. So uh, I don't think I've ever shared that on the channel at all. I've done a little bit of everything, welding, electrical work, all kinds of different stuff in my life. But uh, this right here should work as planned. Sometimes that wire, when it's not solid like that, Got to get it just right to get it where you want. In my luck, having said all that about doing electrical work in the past, I'll turn this thing on here in a second and it will explode or something. It'll be just my luck right there. I got this roughed in, which means all the covers are still off. The switch is wired up, but I left off the cover and also left the cover off the panel. Make sure the breaker is on. We're good right there. And the reason being, when you do electrical work like this, you don't close up anything until you make sure everything's working safely. Cause sometimes you gotta take those panels right back off and troubleshoot and see what's going on and see what you messed up. Happens to everybody. So let me walk over here. And uh, I didn't bring my ear protection. I should have because this thing right here, they say is pretty darn loud. So if I've done this right, when we turn this switch on right here, the extractor will turn on. See what happens. Got you, didn't I? <laughs> oh. Man, that thing is loud. Not sure how much more I'll be able to video today. It's getting dark. It's about, it's going on five o'clock. And uh, tell you what, these short winter days are hard on you when you try to film everything like I do. Get this, there we go. Get that on there. We will be in good shape right there. There we go. This is an eight inch hose coming out of the extractor. And uh, I like this one because it's see-through. You can kind of see what's going on in it. And I found the best kind of a clamp for something like this is a wire tie right here, a plastic zip tie, whatever you want to call them. I went to the uh, HVAC store the other day when I was buying my supplies for this little project here. Point of no return right there and you hear that noise. But uh, he was telling me for eight inch pipe, a zip tie is the way to go. Make sure I'm the wire straight down from the extractor into this little panel right it's not a panel it's an outlet box this is not a panel 
Goodness. <clears throat> and anyways, before this day is over, we're gonna have this molder up and running and the dust, the dust, the dust, the dust. My goodness, the dust. Well, friends, today we're down at the timber frame doing some work. And before this day is over, I probably shouldn't say that. What is it? 11 o'clock. No, I think I can get it done. So before this video ends, we're going to have the dust collector hooked up, wired into the panel, and all the hoses coming from the molder to it and running it out the side of the building. If I don't get this done, I'll just delete this. So uh, I think I can get it done though, guys. The sawmill, today we're down at the timber frame doing some work on the molder. Is that what I'm really doing? I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Done today, I want to put up some siding boards. I want to finish out this wall, at least to the door. I may know, I, I may know, I may know, I may know, I may know. I'm speaking another different language, guys. Follow me for more different languages, I guess. My name, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go drink some coffee and think about what I want to say, I guess. That's probably the best strategy. Just shut up for a few minutes. To the sawmill, friends. We're down at the timber frame today. Of course we're at the timber frame. This doesn't look like the sawmill. I don't think I even need to say where I'm at. I'm overthinking this a little too much. What in the world is that up there? 